Hello, my name is John Ham. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Anyways, welcome everyone to, uh, well, you read the title, so you know what this is gonna be. I swear, this is not entirely a ripoff of Best in Saw. I had this idea way before, well, actually, I got the idea when the Herbivore pack was announced, and I was like, yo, what's all the JPOG downs? And plus, I've done JPOG related stuff before, so it seems fitting. So, we're gonna go on Sandbox, obviously. Now, here's the thing. Sanctuary would be a good sp uh, spot to start, but here's the thing. I'm going to try something else. In uh, JPOG, the islands were kind of random. You could kind of pick the shape you wanted, but it was still a bit random in some parts. So what we're going to do, I'm going to look away from the screen and just mash the arrows on my controller. And uh, whatever island just so happens to get picked, uh, we're going to go with that, alright? So... I am currently looking away from the screen. What is it? Oh. Takano. Well then. Uh, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. So, uh, yeah, let's go on. We'll have the preset start on creative, and then we'll go in. Oh, jeez. The music's really getting loud, goddamn. So, uh, in terms of this island, I'm at, uh, I mean, it's not, it's a pretty good pick. I mean, no island fits a J, the JPOG kind of island perfectly, since all JPOG's island, all JPOG islands. Hold on, I'm gonna skip that. Loud music. In all JPOG islands, you could build everywhere, and it was mostly flat, unless you changed with the mountains a little. Uh, no map in this game currently fits that build, but this ain't a bad spot. It has an interesting shape, the lake looks cool as heck, and uh, it has a lot of big flat areas, so that's nice. So, let's start off with the beginning, shall we? I guess I can't get rid of that. Oh, that's annoying. Hold on. <laughs> I must get rid of it. No, okay. GG. No, I don't want water. You gotta remove the water. Okay, so... I'm gonna make it so the default paths we're gonna use here are the wide, fancy paths. They're closest in color to the JPOG paths, in my opinion. And also, because the JPOG paths were quite thick, so I don't think using a narrow one would be doing it justice, so... We gotta make sure everything is symmetrical, so let's make sure I have angle snap on. Now first we're gonna start off with the innovation center, which will be our uh, visitor center for this. So, I'm gonna try to align this perfectly. My idea is uh, like to have this look like it, visitors are coming out of here, because they can come through the back. There's a, back, there's a bunch of uh, paths, like entrances for paths to go through, so... On. I'm a bit brain dead, so this might take a bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, these kind of forests, you know, th like, just these kind of forests in general, you know, they don't really have palms or, like, palm trees or anything. They're just big trees. Those aren't really from JPOG. I might get rid of as many forests as I can, but we'll do that as finishing touches for each area. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do it later, not now. We'll actually do the actual part first. So, let's go check out the settings. Make sure what we have is good. Now, JPUG had twisters, the heaviest storm, so let's put that on. Let's just have no failed incubations on. Uh, diseases were kind of low, lower than here, so, you know. Uh, keep it normal. Normal escapes. They had no requirements, really, so keep that disabled. Uh, normal on. There were no power stations, no power in general, so just unlimited power. Uh, feeders that need to be replenished. And let's just keep cash on, because I want to worry about making this look like a JPOG park, and not whether or not it's cash efficient. Alright, now we're going to start off with how I traditionally build my JPOG parks. Usually I have a bit of a path that goes... In the street line. Oh, one other thing about this, uh, the wide paths, they have trash cans on them, so... Haha. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna make it a bit shorter. 
Yeah, uh, the Norm Pass don't have trash cans, and we all know in JPOG, trash cans, so. Usually I did something where I had a narrow path like that. Actually, let's see, what, how short can we make this? Usually I had a short path that went out, and then it kind of like... Did this kind of weird shit. Wait, is the twister already? Oh, Goddamn, usually the twister's waited a bit. Safety. No, there is no such thing as safety. Oh, wait, we can build bunkers because they're like visitor shelters in JPOG. Right. So, yeah, this is how I usually uh, did my s setups in JPOG. Is that straight? Nope, that is not perfectly straight. Not satisfied. Yeah, that's how it usually looked. Okay. Can you just stay over there? I don't... Oh, wait, we can't have a ranger station. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to put a ranger station somewhere, even though it wasn't JPUG, because if a twister shows up and destroys everything, I need to fix it somehow, so... Yes, I know about power input, thank you. Alright, now, usually what I did here, once I built this part of, like the entrance, I guess you could call it. Usually had a kiosk. Then a restroom. But you see, there is no restroom, so. Instead, we got to put a gift shop, but usually since I got them later on in the game, I usually had them in like, like a, in a path that went out like this. And then usually I had a gift shop on the side, like, this. There we go. Let's just get rid of the, the forest in here because it's a little annoying. Alright. Uh, now we can begin with the enclosure ideas. So, uh. Oh. I see there's no water particles when it hits the lake. Anyways. Uh. Now, in JPOG, there were three dig sites that you could possibly start off with, and each dig site had two dinosaurs you could start off with, since there were three in each one. But I think it was random, but... Uh, the, one w w the one we might be using is the formation, I forgot its name, but the one that has Taurosaurus, Acrocamphosaurus, and Parasolophus. So, uh, because in JPOG, I usually got that dig site a lot, and I used... Uh, Taurosaurus a lot when I got it. Uh, we'll use that. So, Taurosaurus will be our first guy. Now, where should the enclosure... Or... Needs to be a bit away from the path, just a little. Further away. Also, I heard a siren. That's weird. Never heard a siren when a tornado went off of an evolution before. Let's make sure this is a little symmetrical. So, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Now, since you start off with light fences in JPOG, and these are the light equivalent, we'll use these. And since every fence in JPOG was electrified, uh, every fence will be electrified, so. Can't have a cover up that way. Have a go up like this. Plonk. Plonk. Oh, yo, this is nice music, all right. Everything has to be kind of squarish, so. Yeah, that's good. It needs to be fairly large, too, because a lot of the enclosures were kind of just big. Okay, hold on. Let's bring this over here. Yeah, that's a nice layout. Very squarish. Again, good. Has to be like that. Now, we can't use these trees, so our best bet are the, uh... 
these trees, and also, uh, occasionally, like, if you, like, tap the forest brush ever so slightly, like, a palm tree will pop up, just one. I wish that was placeable normally, but, oh well. Uh, I actually have an idea. Most people did a central pen in JPOG with a hatchery. Usually my first enclosure had a hatchery, but some of the ones later on didn't. So because this is the first enclosure, I'm going to put a hatchery inside of it. Now here's my plan. So usually we'd probably have it on this side. So we have it there. Now you may be wondering, but the dinosaurs are going to break out. Well, ha, I have a plan. Well, actually, let's put this more up against the wall. Just, uh, just because my plan, in order for it to work, it needs to be kind of closest to the wall, so. Hammond Creation Lab. As close as possible. There we go. So, because the Toros are kind of big boys, I'm kind of hoping that that they just won't event they won't squeeze out back here. Plus they have there's no food or water back here, so they might just stay in their enclosure the whole time. At least what I'm hoping. So yeah, let's just make it so they, they probably won't get out, but let's just try to make this as tight as possible to, like, really decrease the chances. Alright. Hmm, what else? Okay. Let's set up, uh, attractions. Now, usually you don't start off with a viewing gallery and a viewing tower in JPOG. So, viewing tower here. Oh, that's a viewing gallery. This is the tower. Ooh, I made a nice little snug spot to like put it in like that. Oh, that was unintentional, but it looks nice. So, quite pleased with that. This guy, make sure it comes off the center. Not gonna lie, this looks like a discount Main Street from Jurassic World, so. It wasn't the intention, but, uh, still looks good. Uh,. I guess uh, let's set up the actual contents in the enclosure. Let's start off with some water. We should have had something that looked like a bit of like a river or something like that. So. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, feeder usually wouldn't be right in front of the viewing gallery. So, like, here ish. Oh, that little weird terrain thing. Is bothering me a little shit. I have the hiccups. Darn it. Uh, let's just move that out a little. And boom. Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, ground feeder. Right. Uh, usually, I think we might be a good number for how many Toros we'll put in here, so let's get them hatching up. Now here's what we're gonna do. We can't, in JPUG you couldn't modify the stats of the dino or just modify them in general. So we're not gonna modify the stats, but if there's a skin that looks more like JPUG, we'll use it. In that case, Alpine's a good pick here. Hmm. Now we gotta set up the actual stuff. Actually, I'm gonna do something that I, uh, must do something else here. Now, hills like this aren't exactly possible in JPUG unless they were rocky, because in JPUG, that mountains and hills were kind of like rocky ish. So, we'll kind of do that, and then we'll tap it with a little bit of grass since in JPUG. Oh, that was a bit too much. Since in JPUG, they kind of weren't just solid rock, they had a bit of uh, different colors on them. if that's the right word. So yeah, there you go. That's not bad. Uh, then we'll have, we'll just scatter a bunch of these around the place. Best tree we can really place, so. 
Oh yeah, can't put, we can't have plants in the water. That was not a thing either, so. Uh, let's see if we can do that thing where we can like, get like that one cool looking tree. Yeah. Huh, we did have short little trees like that. So I might keep that, yeah. I'll keep that little thing. Let's uh, try it out here. Nope. Uh, try it out over here. Oh no, I had a little tree for a sec, no. There we go. The shrub is barely in the water, but I'll just ignore that, so... Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's good. Nothing else I can really add. Uh, I'll give it one of these, because now they look a bit repetitive, so... And then, to make things look more grassy, we're gonna add a... We're gonna, like, tap grassland around a little. Cause the ground in JPOG was a little grassy, bush-filled. Whatever you'd call it. And... Okay, let's just wait a little second. Do, 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 and done. There we go. See, I picked Alpine because it keeps the, like, base skin's, like, white color, but also adds gray and brownish on the head. So it's a bit on the body, so... Kind of like the one in JPOG. Just a little. It's not perfect, obviously, especially with the orange thing on the frill, like, orange patterning, but... You know, it's, it's good. It's the best we can do. Oh, if only we had. Oh, we do technically have an announcer, but it's, it's not. It's uh, not like a JPOG announcer, but you get the idea. All right. Now. Hmm. So the next herbivore we might put in here, yeah, I think the next herbivore we would put in here is Parasaur Wolfus, because that's the other herbivore in this dig site. Uh, we'll save Aquacanthosaurus for the next episode, it'll be like an enclosure kind of here-ish, but let's put Parasaur Wolfus in here. Usually what would happen is that you'd start off with one herbivore, hatch it, and then when your part got a bit more strength and you had more DNA, you would put the other herbivore from the dig site in. So... We'll keep the base skin. Base skin's the best looking thing. And, uh... Huh. What's a good number? Maybe... Let's put four. Might be a little over cramped in here, but... Hey, they kind of were in JPOG, so that's usually what happened. With no restrictions, crampness became a lot more of a thing. So, hatch those boys. Might need... Hmm. Because we're gonna have more dinosaurs in here and I wanna just keep one feeder, we'll bring that timer down. So, uh. Hmm, well, that's hatching. Let's try and figure something else. Uh, ACU, we can put that, because that's basically the ranger station from JPOG with the helicopter. Usually, I'd put it farther away from, like, the rest of the park. Kinda in a corner somewhere. Maybe like that. It'll look a bit better when there's, uh, like, uh. There's gonna be an aqua enclosure somewhere over here, so it's gonna look a bit better. But for now, uh, it's gonna look grand. It's gonna look a little weird being all the way out there. Uh, if only they had something where you didn't need paths to make things work. Because I'm telling you, we're gonna need that ACU thing eventually. Again, look at this. Like, that's nice. I wish we could place those, because that tree is nice. Even though this lake's a bit inaccurate, it looks cool, so... I don't know. And this is what I like about the little idea of, like, hiding the mo the actual arrival point and making it look like everyone comes out of the Innovation Center. It looks neat. Oh, wow. Wait, zero dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, there's zero. It merges the viewing area of this, so... Yeah, you guys can't see anything. Rip you. Oh, 
Alright then. Uh, let's just wait the five more seconds it's gonna take to hatch these bad boys. And we are good. Huh. I just realized, I'm wondering how feeding Brachiosaurus is gonna work because we're probably gonna have that in here, but there were no tall feeders in JPOG, so I guess we'll have to use it anyways. Nice. If only you were more of a, a quadrupedal para. Then you'd look even better here, but oh well. Your skin will make this look extra JPOG-ish. Hmm. Alright, I'll be right back. Uh, I'll just cut the video right here once all of them are actually- Oh, uh, oh no wonder they aren't coming out because I didn't release them. Okay, when they're all out, I'll come back and we'll end the video. I just want to show you guys the, how the everything looks when it's all finished. Back. This is just for a quick sec. This guy tried to sneak out, but I think I figured out a foolproof way to make sure they can't get out. You, like, cover the path up with, like, this kind of, like, fence formation, whatever you'd call it. And they can't really squeeze through. Unless it's, like, a Velociraptor that can squeeze through these gaps, they can't get over here, so... I think we found a way to actually do this for mostly every enclosure. So, there you go. And, uh, oh, all of them are out already. So yeah, there you go. I think it looks nice so far. And the Taurosauruses were even fighting each other. Just like in JPOG. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all we could do. Next episode, probably gonna be Acrocamphosaurus. Uh, yeah, that's really it. So, Acrocamphosaurus, we'll figure out what we do from there. We're probably gonna, uh, get some Jurassic dig site idea, I don't know. Maybe we'll pick, get a Stegosaurus, Dryosaurus enclosure, or something like that. But, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like it, wait, what the heck was that? Did I just hear a guest being like, uh? I don't know what that was. Extra JPOG, am I right? But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, bye, I guess. What the heck, guys? You can't climb there. That wasn't possible in JPOG.